All right, so I'm in the saddle shed, getting ready to come outside. Our weather's been really, really nice. And welcome to the Great White North. Not really, but we <laughs> don't get This is uh, super, super wet, heavy snow. Um, guess what? I got Kev's in like a day ago. So that's about about right for me. Um, get cattle in, and I'm gonna pause this. And we're back. So yeah, it's been really nice. And then I guess I decided to get more calves. And yeah, so that calf, that calf is all messed up. He went down in the trailer. And I'm surprised he's still alive. His eye looks swollen. This one that was on this side, but yeah, I got more calves in. Who you got the snot in your nose, but so let him out to get some hay. But I got him in here for now. And I'm gonna go feed hay to cows. But it started snowing uh, last night just a little bit. I don't think we're supposed to get too much, uh, maybe five inches of it, but if we get five inches of this wet snow, that'll be, it'll be muddy, and it's been raining. We've had probably, in the past week, we've probably had two inches of rain, so yeah, we're setting up for a wet spring, but this is, this is wonderful, kind of gonna hammer us a little bit Ugh. but yeah so got my GoPro I need to clean the snow off my seat because it was already wet oh man and my defroster doesn't work in this pick up one of the blend doors is stuck so I only get it going through the front vents so that's always fun to deal with but we will pick up and continue this later welcome to Will's nanny cam that's Mr. Slimy so my wife is at home uh, supposed to be working on her her masters and uh, some of the computer work and stuff and I'm out feeding cows um, yeah so holy shit that's a new fucking calf that's a new calf we got two brand new calves here um, oh, shit. well and the pickup the hay truck is stuck somewhere else so we're just gonna have to make us a little spot for cake. Get these cows some good protein in them. Uh, just pretty much for energy right now. If we have any warm weather, this stuff will be melted off tomorrow. But, you know, they got the little babies. So we're gonna uh, do what we can for them. It's fun times. And uh, I'm gonna back to the story about my my wife is at the house. She has no idea Mr. Slimy is gonna come to the house, and she's gonna get to dry him off, get him completely dry. And yeah, that's uh, what's gonna happen with Mr. Slimy. And we'll give him a bottle. And he will get fed, and then we will uh, get Mr. Slimy's mom in after everything is fed, or first thing in the morning. Just depending on how how well this day goes, and it's, it is a mess out there. And we'll go from there. Uh, before I forget to add this to the video, this is a fun fact about me. My wife drives her up the wall. I turn my heater up, 
and I keep my window rolled down and so there's snow always just flying through the window but I can see this way where the windows get fogged up and I can see all the cows and she has to sit over there and freeze her ass off but you know fun times so here's one of the pickups that's buried of course it's a Chevy you know no it's not the fact that we got a lot of Chevys so I uh I'm just gonna come save him the old coot so for everyone who's asking me how Kevin is going this is how it is going right now ah Uh, just another day in New Mexico. There's a pickup going. I've been. Oh, don't be stuck, Will. There we go. There's one going down the road. I've seen two so far. Uh, everyone's just out checking their their cattle. Which, yeah. So that pickup got buried there and just dumped two bales for those cows. And I'm gonna head head up to the gate and go get more hay I'll drop that off for my wife and you guys will get to miss out on Will's nanny camp but that's uh that's just part of it so uh, to answer the questions of how Kevin is going it's it's going fairly well uh, really haven't had too many issues I had I had one of the cows that I bought prolapsed I saved the calf out of her uh, but she did it she didn't do it when she had the calf she uh, she did it like two weeks after she had the calf so you know fun times there I, I ended up she was weak and I ended up having to just shoot her it was uh, the prolapse was couple days old and there's two it was day old day and a half old so it was all hard and nasty and it, it just we could not get it shoved back in there uh, did about everything you can do so so that I lost one cow there uh, we had one cow uh, very early on the kef got I guess got stuck and so we lost her Oh, we didn't see we didn't find her until the next day and then I had one I've lost uh, three cows so that kind of shitty but that's just part of having a, a lot of cows and end up random things happen and it some years it's real good and some years it's just a, a mess and I don't know how this year's gonna turn out yet but um, one one of the the third cow what happened to her was she uh oh hell what she oh yeah the coyotes got her um uh, uh she was having a calf and so uh i guess some coyotes found her as soon as she started to have a calf and what happens i don't know if you can hear me with the wind but they will uh and Regardless of your belief, coyotes do run in packs. Yeah. Uh, they found her. Fucking metal gates in the snow. And they just, they, what they do is they surround the cow and they harass the cow. I should have just paused this. But you're going to get an interesting skyline. They harass the cow until the cow goes down. Or if the cow is already down having a calf. Uh, then they will fuck with her until until they wear her out because she'll she'll try to fight off the coyotes and so what happened is the cow went down uh, really cool cow too I really enjoyed her they took four or five bites out of the calf's neck so the calf instantly bled out never touched it again and probably took a bite or two out of the cow's ass and never touched her again. And they just fucking left. I'll wait for her to die. So she, uh, and I, you know, it's a shitty deal. 
so what I did is we got a call. We were up working on that barn that had the cow down. I went, drove all the way down there. I figured the cow was locked up. I figured the calf was locked up. I sat down behind the cow. She was still alive. Put a rope on the, or put a Kevin chain on the calf's legs. Just sat down on the ground. And I just pulled the fucking calf right out of her. I mean, not no strain at all. I mean, the calf just slipped out. So that tells me the calf didn't lock up at all. Uh, there was she had no problem. She was gonna have absolutely no problem having the calf until the coyotes found her. And you know there was three other cows right uh, around her uh, within you know three four hundred yards that had calves. So they just found her, and that's the one they focused on. And so yeah, uh, and and it was I've seen them where the calf was half eaten, where they you know they did have a problem. And usually what happens when uh, when you when you do have a cow that stresses like that, having a calf and the coyotes find her, even if you do get the calf out of her, the cow will prolapse uh, due to stress. It's just they'll do it. They'll prolapse because of the stress. So I pulled the calf out. They took, they didn't even eat. Like, they didn't even take real bites. They just, like, they just nibbled enough and punctured the calf's neck so it bled out and died. So that was real, real fun. And I don't, that's why any coyote I see, we, we shoot it. Um, I've had people tell me that they're scavengers and they're just, uh, off, you know, they, they are not just scavengers. They are fucking twats. Um, I may edit that one out. Sorry about that, but that gets me all worked up. So let's just focus on the cuteness. Um, but other than that, that's, uh, you know, we've got well over 500 cows. So three cows, it's, that's just part of it. I mean, you're going to have, you got, you got a number of cows. You're going to have a few problems. So it's not real fun. He's, uh, he's got the sneezes, but we'll get us a, a good calf cleaned off and just keep going. So I'll end this here and we'll see if we do any more videos. Oh, so you can see it's just mud and water underneath. The water's running. Um, let me kind of. See, I don't think you can see the pond, but uh, look at that. Uh, it's just water, it's just running. Uh, we're getting snow again, so I it is turning into just a real cluster right now. It's it's getting deep in some spots. I went and got a different hay trailer, mine can't keep up with me, so it I ended up rolling it. Uh, if you I've been trying to load uh, little photos and stuff to Sours Cattle Company officials Facebook, and I, I don't know, like I've had three of them I tried to load up, and it's, they're not showing up. So maybe maybe they'll show up, but yeah, it's it's a mess right now. It's it's turning into a real real shit storm. I, it kind of laid down, and I didn't think we were gonna. I think it just kind of stopped on the amount of snow that we were getting but it is starting to snow like crazy again um so what i think happened is it was supposed to just kind of shower through the night until about noon and then we were supposed to get uh five inches of snow at noon uh starting and We've probably got six inches already where the grass is and like the broom weed and everything is. So like anything that can catch snow, there's already six inch. I mean, it's as deep as that there. Um, so I think what happened is it got cold enough that all the rain that we got, we we're supposed to get was snow. And it's snowing heavy again and blowing. So I think we might get another five inches on top of this. Um, which is absolutely terrible uh it's the worst thing that can happen but because 
that's, I mean, hell, that'd be almost a foot of snow. And it's starting to drift pretty bad in some spots. One pickup, uh, since it's so muddy, one pickup can't even go through, uh, through it. It's, the Chevys have problems because they're a little lower. Uh, and I can go through my, with my pickup because it's, it's heavy enough, but I'm sinking in pretty bad. So it's, I don't know how much longer we're going to be able to feed with our pickups. But we'll try to get everything fed and if it gets to where we can't feed anymore and it just keeps snowing then we'll hook up the tractor and the and the big gooseneck trailer i'll have to take stock tanks off of it and let's go from there yeah it's it is just a sloppy sloppy mess my windshield wipers are worn out and i've been needing to replace them so <laughs> yeah but i i hope we don't get any more snow than what we got now we don't need it. We really don't. But we'll just see what Mother Nature gives us. <laughs> 